ITS has many achievements, both national and international achievements prove the ITS keeps growing and gives the best contribution to the nation of Indonesia. ITS is a place for new hopes to grow, an ideal environment new generation to flourish in three strategic locations within the industrial city of Surabaya. As a smart eco campus, ITS maintains harmony between technological advances and the sustainability of the surrounding ecosystem. ITS has seven faculties with prospective scientific fields, including Scientists, INSEES, Vocation, Creatives, Martech, Electics, Sift Plan, ITS is a space for the new generation who are hungry for knowledge because it provides a wide range of references in both physical and digital form. ITS makes it easier for the new generation to access information by providing flexible classes. ITS keeps moving forward in facing future challenges by providing the best facilities for the new generation's activities. The facilities support both spiritual and physical needs. ITS also provides research facilities in the ITS Science Techno Park, including ICT and Robotics, Automotive, Maritime, and Creative Industries. Therefore, the excellent generations from ITS will emerge and make history. ITS is a space for the new generation to express themselves. ITS is a place where the new generation learns new things and finds their purpose. ITS has become a place where the new generations that carry the future will be born. ITS is a campus of science and technology which focuses on the research and innovation presenting technology for prosperity. With a spirit of heroism, ITS brings the future before us. ITS, the University of Heroes.
distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Before we start, commence the program, and here are the following webinar protocol. For each participant ID, please use your real name following with your origin of institution. All of participants are expected to mute the audio and only unmute the video during the event. We cordially invite you to take your own firm and comfort seat in your own room and please avoid the backlight. Make sure that you have a good and stable internet connection. If you have an earphone or headset, we recommend you to use it so that your voice can clearly and loudly to be heard. During the Q&A discussion session, all participants, please use the chat box to deliver the questions. Thank you for your cooperation and consideration. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. How are you today? I hope you are fine and healthy. Uh, thank you for joining our event today, Researcher and Research Student Enrichment Program, or usually we call it by RESEP, for Heart Engineering Stream. Before we start our agenda today, I would I will read out the important information to all attendees. First, please fill the attendance form on the provided link, which already shared by the uh, by our committee in the Zoom chat. Uh, the link will be closed in 15 minutes. Second, please fill the feedback form, which will be shared in the Zoom chat room 15 minutes before the session ends, and it will be closed after one hour. Third, the attendance and feedbacks are compulsory for these purposes. First, attendance is mandatory for the new ITS master and doctoral students. Certificate of participation only eligible for international participants who have 60% attendance or minimum five meetings. Stem for it, it's only eligible for ITS undergraduate students. During the Q&A session, participants who wish to ask questions, you can use uh, the, product, the provided link to chat the, your uh, question. Alternatively, you may also raise your hands during the Q&A session to ask your question directly. So either you will have to fill the, uh, the link to ask the question or you can ask us directly. Okay, I think we have, we need to start now. Okay. Welcome to Researcher and Research Student Enrichment Program for Heart Engineering Stream on today, Thursday, 23rd September 2021. I'm Dewi from ITS Postgraduate Office and I'll be your uh, Master of Ceremony for this session. So before we start our session today, allow me to inform you about our agenda as follow. Uh, for the first agenda is the opening by MC, uh, continued the, the introduction of moderator and also the speaker. After that, we will get to the main agenda, the lecture session, then followed by a Q&A session, and it will be ended with the conclusion and closing. I would like to remind you again to fill your attendance form, share through the 
provided link in the Zoom chat room, which will be closed in 15 minutes from now. So before moving on to the next agenda, please allow me to elaborate about today's lecture. Today's lecture team in Recep for Heart Engineering Stream is about finding research idea, which will be delivered by our speaker, Dr. Zul Atfi Ismail from University Malaysia Perlis and Ms. Nurwati from ITS who will be the one conducting our today session as moderator. Let me introduce you to our moderator today. So Ms. Nurwati, our moderator today, is graduated from ITS with Bachelor in Geometric Engineering and she got her master degree in Master in Geomatics from National Chengkung University in Taiwan. Currently, she is a lecturer in uh, Geomatic Engineering Department in ITS and uh, her research interest in special spatial analysis, GIS, and disaster mitigation. Without further ado, let's proceed to the main agenda. To Ms. Nurwati as our moderator, the time is yours. Thank you very much for introducing me, uh, Mrs. Dewi. First of all, I'd like to welcome Dr. Zul Afli Ismail to the Researchers and Research Student Enrichment Program. Is uh, Dr. Zul Afli Ismail already come to this uh, event? Okay. Can I start now? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Dr. Zul Afi Ismail. Um, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As has been introduced by MC, today I will lead the talk and discussion session about finding research idea that has uh, that will be presented by Dr. Zul Afi Ismail. Before we begin, I'd like to introduce Dr. Zul. Currently, he is a doctor of philosophy. Uh, currently, he is a senior lecturer and researcher in civil engineering department at the University of Malaysia Perlis with the research interest construction, construction management, building maintenance, building information modeling and management information system. Well, let's start the talk session. Please welcome Dr. Zul Alfi. Zul Alfi, time is yours. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm good, eh? I to share screen first. Okay. Okay, uh, Assalamualaikum and uh, good afternoon. Okay, to you all. Okay, uh, my name uh, is uh, Dr. Zulatfi Ben Ismail. Okay, I'm from uh, University Malaysia Police. Okay, I'm the Faculty of uh, Civil Engineering Technology. Okay, in, in my faculty, we have uh, um, a three type of program, okay. The first one is a Bachelor of Civil Engineering. Second one is a Bachelor of Civil Engineering Technology. And third one is the Bachelor of Technology. Okay. Okay, now uh, today I will present uh, my topic is about uh, finding research idea. Okay. Just, uh, I just want to let you know how you want to, uh, to, uh, to get things. Okay, to, uh, to get idea lah. Okay, idea for your journal or for your proceeding, including uh, for your thesis lah. 
Okay, for your thesis. Okay, now before I explain uh, this topic, I would like to uh, go to the next slide. Okay, which is the content. Okay, the content of this slide. Okay, the first one is a getting idea. The second one is a choosing idea. The third one is outlining idea. And the fourth one is a drafting idea. Okay, these uh, four topic is uh, under three factor lah. Okay, three factor. Uh, number one is entertain. Number two is story. And number three is uh, descriptive. Okay. Okay, now uh, I, I, I go for the topic number one. Okay, getting idea. Okay, getting idea. Okay, as, as you can see in this slide, okay. Okay, before that, I would like, I would like to uh, define you about the idea lah, okay, the idea. Okay, uh, okay. idea uh, comes uh, from uh, what we call as the lot of places, okay. Maybe uh, when you uh, drive, you get one idea when you're eating, okay. When you uh, wake up from your sleep, you get new idea. Okay, so it comes from a lot of places. Okay, and actually, uh, getting idea uh, isn't uh, usually uh, a matter of uh, having one giant uh, brainstorm, lah. Okay, sometimes uh, or commonly, uh, it's a matter of gradually. Uh, accumulating a, a, a little idea here, then uh, another little idea there. Then we add up or we combine to form a big idea. Okay, to form a big idea. Okay, so uh, there are four methods. Okay, four methods uh, to get, uh, to uh, transform your idea into a sheet of blank paper. Lah. Okay into a sheet of uh, blank paper. Okay, so as you can see in this slide, number one is uh, making a list. Okay, making a list. So what do you know about the making a list? Okay, making a list, uh, or we call as the uh, brainstorming, okay, or think tanking. Okay, is the best way lah, okay, to start with a piece of writing. Okay, where is uh, your mind uh, can flood, flood around, uh, the topic quickly, okay. Actually, you you don't have uh, to write uh, a list, okay. List in sentence, you can just uh, write a keyword, lah. Okay, write a keyword, okay. Uh, which is uh, means uh, important to you, lah. Okay, and uh, most students uh, prefer to use this method, lah. Okay, because. Uh, uh, this method is, uh, yeah, you can just write anything, come to mind, lah. It's, it's an easy way, lah. okay, it's an easy way. As you can see uh, in this slide, uh, we have the learning as a, an idea, okay, then we just uh, making a list, okay, learning to read, learning to tell the time, learning to swim, then we have to cap here, okay, can't think about of anything else. Then we continue again, and then we have another gap, okay, brain stop, okay, then we have another gap, another dead end. So this is how we make it at least, lah. okay, uh, for getting idea, okay, for getting idea. This is a first method, lah. okay, this is first method. Okay, how about the second method? Okay, the second method is uh, making a cluster diagram, okay making a cluster diagram. So what is the difference between uh, what we call as the making a list and uh, making a cluster diagram? Okay, making a cluster diagram uh, is just another, lah, another list of uh, what we call as a kind of list, okay? Another kind of, uh, of list, okay? Uh, but uh, this uh, one is, uh, is uh, you have to develop uh, into little clusters, okay, of your idea lah. You, are, you must have the little, little cluster of your idea, okay. 
And this uh, cluster diagram is also preferred by students because uh, it is uh, because this method is a user friendly lah. Okay, user friendly way to start your writing. Okay, this we call as the uh, cluster diagram. Okay, so the sample for this you can look in this slide. Okay, learning you uh, divide into four cluster: learning to read, learning to swim learning to French and also learning to uh, drive. Okay, so you can develop lah detailed cluster uh, for, for type lah. Okay, for this idea is learning. Okay, learning. Okay, now we go to the uh, third method. Okay, the method is uh, okay, researching. Okay, researching or independent investigation. Okay, researching and independent investigation uh, investigation is about uh, to uh, finding, okay, to finding some information, okay, uh, which uh, you do research, okay, in a book, okay, in books, and, and also you can uh, read from uh, the journal, uh, from the, uh, articles, okay, proceeding, and also from the videos, and also, and you also can gathering the information. Uh, your own information first hand okay first hand by uh, doing some interviews by doing uh, some by conducting uh, what we call as the experiments and others lah this is how we uh, we gather lah we get the own information uh, first hand okay first hand okay okay these are the third method and the last method is uh, Okay, this is a slide. Is a this sample is a how we uh, write a sentence based on the definite articles. Okay, indicating the category in a distinction usually known as gender, while the plural of both li and la is less. Okay, so this is uh, the sample lah. Okay, for researching or independent investigation. Okay, now we go for the last. Okay, for the final method is uh, forgetting idea uh, is uh, free writing. Okay, what do you know about free writing? What it is? Okay, free writing uh, normally we call as, as the speed. Okay, speed writing. Okay, means that uh, you, you are non-stop talking about that idea. Okay, you now stop talking about that idea or you can stop think to think about that idea okay when when you can stop to think about uh, that idea your unconscious mind okay your unconscious mind uh, get uh, to have uh, a goal lah. so from the conscious mind and you uh, can stop to thinking that idea your 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 conscious mind will be uh, converted to the unconscious mind okay when you have the unconscious mind so you can uh, think more clearly so you can write in your uh, uh, sheet of blank paper with the long sentence lah. okay okay it's we call as the unconscious mind okay unconscious mind okay so uh, uh, as you can see they also have a gap lah, the sample eh? okay learning hard and embracing then gap is suddenly thought of something else. Okay, then uh, second gap is uh, remember something uh, I hadn't thought of uh, four years. Okay, this is a uh, we call as the free writing. Okay, you can write in in Basa. Okay, in Basa in if you want lah. If you are not uh, good in English, okay, then you can convert or to uh, translate into English. Okay, this we call as the uh, free writing so uh, there there are four method lah okay for getting idea okay in this case okay so uh, then we go for the next slide okay next slide is uh, uh sorry before that we go for the this one eh? okay what stop ideas uh maybe some uh some students uh, want to know what stop ideas okay we uh, already know how to get 
how to get things. Now we want to, now I want to explain what stop ideas. Okay, the first one is uh, what we call as the voice of doom. Okay, voice of doom. Okay, the the hardest thing. Okay, the hardest thing uh, about getting idea. Okay, is that a little voice in your head? Okay, that tells you uh, all your ideas uh, are no good. Okay, all your ideas are uh, no good lah. Okay, this that we call as the voice of uh, voice of doom. Okay, voice of doom. Okay, I think we we all have uh, that voice lah. Okay. I've been uh, I've been a professional uh, researcher for 10 years and I still get get it uh, every time lah I see it, uh, I see it, uh, down to to write okay to write okay so uh, and I don't think uh, you can make that voice go away lah okay just uh, uh, and also if you wait for it for that voice to go away or if one uh, if if you want uh, to wait until you feel happy with your ideas so i think it's waste time lah okay and never get anything done so uh, just my recommendation just uh, you just say you you you, you can say that uh, yes the idea is not good i i won't argue about that and uh, i just keep that idea going away okay just uh, uh some sometimes you have to be uh consistent lah, with your idea or if you if if uh the voice of doom is uh always uh just dis disturbing you so you have to, uh, to be uh, to be you know, consistent lah. okay this is uh uh one thing that uh, stop ideas okay number one eh the voice of doom Okay, second one is uh, inspiration. Okay, normally many uh, many uh, many lecturer okay lecturer says that inspiration is good to you to get an idea. Okay, yes, uh, some sometimes uh, this inspiration can stop uh, your ideas. Okay, can stop your ideas. Okay. Um, Okay, actually, you can force ideas. Okay, you can force your your ideas when when you want to uh, uh, think about that idea. You can force that, that that idea. The best one to control. Uh, the best one is that that you are not control. Uh, not trying lah to control uh, your brain. Uh, too much okay because of that idea okay because of the idea because the idea is famous because the idea is popular okay because the idea is good for your journal and others so if you feel that you can uh, you feel that you're not uh, interested to the idea so you can force that uh, that thing lah you have not trying to control uh your mind uh, too, uh, too much lah. okay too much okay when you trying uh, to control uh, your brain uh, okay too much okay normally inspiration is about uh, from the conscious mind okay from the conscious mind then if you slowly think about this the conscious mind will switch off then the unconscious mind uh, was was switched on. This we call as the inspiration, inspiration. Okay, we have the conscious mind, we have the unconscious mind. Okay, but if you force your idea, you your conscious mind was was still on. Okay, you cannot uh, switch on your unconscious mind because you force your your idea. So uh, the best way is uh, you try to be relaxed lah. Okay, relax. If you think that uh, you cannot, uh, you can think that if 
if uh, if you feel that you can think that idea, so you have to change lah, change to the another idea. Okay, so this we call as the inspiration. Okay, this is sometimes happen lah, happen to students, sometimes happens to the researcher and others lah. Okay, okay. Uh, another thing uh, is uh, okay. Third thing is a premature planning. Okay, premature planning. Okay. Uh, Okay. When you uh, okay. Okay. Uh, when you try to okay. When you start to write a piece of uh, write your idea in a piece of paper lah, you should have plan. Okay, plan. Okay, plan. Okay, plan. Getting ideas. Okay, getting ideas. As I mentioned, is is not the same as you uh writing a piece you already get the idea but it's not the same when you write it's, it's a different one so you must have the planning lah when you start to write your idea that why we that's why we call the pre match planning you have the idea but you uh, never plan it okay when you start to writing a piece okay okay that's we call as the pre match planning okay and last one is a uh, writer's block. Okay, writer's block. Okay, maybe some some students uh, or researchers uh, having a uh, this problem. Uh, okay, is is not the illness. Okay, about the uh, writer's block is about uh, is about uh, when you uh, when 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 you write when you thinking that you have write a masters a masterpiece okay that's it that's it that will make you become uh what, what we call as the writer's talk lah. you you thinking that your idea is a must is the masterpiece okay masterpiece okay so uh what i try to say is that when you uh, uh, relax and don't uh, don't let uh, the idea worry worry you, it's okay lah. But when the idea is worry you and you you think that you have to write the masterpiece, so it's a become a stress lah, pressure, pressure to your mind. Okay, to write uh, uh, you have to you have to think a lot of ideas that you have to write. So it's a become pressure when become pressure and you feel stress so that we call as the writer's block okay writer's block okay this is uh, uh the four uh four type lah okay or four factors okay that can stop okay they can stop ideas okay now we go for the uh, next slide okay choosing idea okay choosing idea okay as i mentioned uh, in uh, the in the content i think eh? okay about the choosing idea okay uh, where we have a uh, three factor the first one is entertain second one is uh, what you call a story okay and the third one is uh, descriptive okay the third one is descriptive okay what is uh, the definition of choosing idea Okay, choosing idea is uh, uh, we having a look of uh, all ideas, okay, and then we assessing them. Okay, that we call as the uh, choosing idea. Okay, uh, okay, the okay the purpose okay for uh, writing we have two type of writing. Okay, wait. Uh, the first one is a scientific writing. The third, uh, second one is the non-scientific writing. So, for, for students like you, postgraduate, you have to focus on scientific writing. Okay? Scientific writing means you must have the evidence lah in your journal or, or article. Okay? Or article. Uh, okay, or articles. Sorry, my battery on my laptop is... Okay, 
so you must have uh, this lah scientific and non scientific so i just list this this factor number one is entertain second one is uh, story then uh, descriptive this is the way you write your uh, a sentence or, or paragraph okay entertain means uh, what we call as the how how you engage uh, the readers feeling okay the readers feeling okay when when you try to describe your experience okay let's say construction experience okay in your article or journal so the reader will understand and interested to read more about your construction experience okay entertain engage the reader feeling okay engage the reader feeling okay second one is uh, uh, what we call as the story okay story means uh, how you uh, tell someone inform someone about about the your what no, no, normally we call as the true story lah kisah benar okay where the reader want to know what happen next okay and also uh, like to read your article more lah okay compare to read only the first page okay only the first page okay where eh? Okay, uh, that we call as the this lah. Okay, is a story. Okay, last one is the descriptive. Descriptive mean uh, the detailed information. Okay, someone in your some uh, sometimes if you write your article, you must uh, uh, explain. Okay, in detail. Okay, what you 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 you, you try to uh, what what we call as the. Uh, scrutinize okay what you try to uh, identify assess okay execute and others lah. okay let's say uh, detail means uh, when you try to write about the system okay because my research interest is a building information building uh, beam system so you you explain about the optimization okay beam optimization by using a genetic algorithm so they want to know how what is the method what is just the step that you want to uh, uh, describe lah. okay you want to uh, explain okay the first step yeah. what okay and what software that you use either matlab or others okay so this is uh, how uh, uh, what we call as the descriptive lah okay descriptive factor okay so you must okay sometimes in your article you can combine this factor entertain uh, story and this descriptive and sometimes the the uh, that article is good only for entertain and sometimes the certain article the specific article is good for uh, descriptive so depend lah depend what is uh, the methodology Okay, the liter the literature review, yeah, that you want to write for your article. Okay, just I, I just want to remind, make, make sure uh, that your your article is uh, scientific lah, must have the proof. Okay, citation. Okay, and also because compared to non scientific like uh, poem, okay, uh, short story. Japan, okay, Japan, and that we call it a non scientific. Okay, so this is a three factor that you have uh, to focus. Okay, okay, these are the feeling test. Okay, these are the sample question. Lah. Okay, could I use this idea to help the reader identify with uh, this feeling? The, the feeling test is conducted by you. Okay, because that is your. Um, uh, article or your journal so you you i think most of you most of you know lah okay either your uh journal is or article is uh engage the reader feeling or not because uh it depends lah 
maybe is a you can get some people lah to review lah for your article. Okay, so uh, could I use this idea to help the reader identify with uh, this recognized feelings from their own experience, make them think, oh yes, I felt that. So feelings engage, okay, the reader lah, the reader feeling, okay. And then we have story test, okay. Could I use this idea as part of ongoing story? Okay, so it's about the actual incident at a particular moment. Okay, could I use it to make a reader ask what happened next? Okay, as I mentioned before. Okay, then we have the description, description test. Okay, can I use it to help a reader actually see what happening? So in detail, they, they want to see in detail, such as uh, for uh, construction site, construction they want to know because uh, in the construction, sometimes we have the contractor that are not expert okay, to do some curing test, curing, curing test, or when they uh, want uh, to, uh, uh, to de determine uh, the, the, the testing that su that's suitable for uh, piping okay, based on the gradient okay, and slope. So it depends on the detail lah, detail that you should explain more or not lah, depend on you because you are, you write that article lah, you write that sentence. Okay, description, uh, test. Okay, this uh, we call as the choosing idea. Okay, okay, this is uh, the third one is the outlining idea. Okay, what is outlining idea? Do you know what is outlining idea? Okay. Uh, outlining uh, uh, is uh, what we call as the list of all ideas they are going to be uh, 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 pieced in, in order lah, okay, means that you have to structure, okay, structure uh, based on the order, okay, such as uh, we have the for, for thesis or for Article, you have the introduction, you have the literature review, you have a methodology, you have the result, you also have the implication or conclusion, okay, discussion. So this is called as the outline, okay. So you have to determine lah, uh, in which part that your idea come from, okay. Your idea come from, okay. Uh, Okay, so we have a few, if you wish lah, okay, uh, to outline your, your idea. We, you want to rank lah your idea uh, for, from number one to number 10 and others lah. Okay, so the, the one way is uh, by using uh, teams, okay, by using teams, okay. As you read in this, in this sample, okay. Uh, Teams uh, is about is about uh, another way lah, okay, uh, to let idea point to your team, okay, to your team, okay. Uh, is about uh, and another things uh, for teams uh, is uh, you have to determine either you follow the idea or you direct the idea okay it's a different different thing lah you have to different differentiate it lah okay so you have to uh, how you can uh, determine the team actually it's not the simple one lah. you have to uh, find a team you have to think uh, one up okay out of the out of, of the box lah okay to identify which team is uh, suitable for your ideas, okay? After then that, you can either follow your ideas uh, or direct your ideas to that teams, okay? That we call as the teams, okay? Let's say uh, in this uh, sample, the teams is learning, okay? Learning, the list is a learning French, okay? Learning swim, learning to swim, learning to drive and also learning 
tenis. Okay, dan tenis. Okay. Okay. Uh, second method or second ways is uh, using index card. Okay. I think most of you know about 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 this uh, method. Okay. When uh, in the talk show, okay, the 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 uh, MC, I think. Okay, MC or uh, uh, the participant. Okay, use uh, index card. Okay, index card. Okay, uh, to uh, maybe they want to remember lah. Okay, remember what going next and others. Okay, this is uh, the easiest the easiest way lah. Okay, uh, to uh, to let your ideas form. Okay, to, to let your ideas form into pattern. Okay, form into form into patterns and to spread them lah. Okay, form into pattern and to spread them. Okay, so you can physically shuffle lah, shuffle them around lah. Okay, you can use the card for this card is for number one, number two, number three. Okay, then you give to the participant. The participant will read for each card lah. Okay, for the show. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, that we call as the using index lah. Okay, using index card. Okay, and the last method is uh. Okay, this is the, the sample lah. Okay, uh, Miss M trying to look fine, cheating, singing uh, French jacuzzi and failing French, French test. Okay, this is one of the uh, arrangement. Okay, that you have one of the arrangement or one of the structure lah. Okay, based on the pattern. Okay, the last one is uh, finding the pattern in your ideas okay find the pattern in your in your ideas is uh, when you uh, see is like uh, same to the previous one what you call as the using index card it's not the same for finding the pattern in your ideas you have to uh, develop into three layer sorry three layers okay the first one is a beginning okay the the second one is the what we call as the uh, middle okay middle as you, you can see inside is a burger eh? okay and also we have an end okay what is a beginning okay beginning is a some uh, kind of introduction okay uh, that uh, telling the the reader okay where they are and what kind of uh, things uh, about uh, to read okay about to read and middle is uh, what it was the man Okay, the man bit. Okay, we uh we want to uh say about uh the important lah, the important thing. And and is a uh, uh, some kind of uh, winding up. Okay, part. Okay, that uh, lets the reader know that this is actually uh the end lah of the piece. Okay, because sometimes uh, uh the readers lost. The last page lah, okay, because of uh, we don't, don't put the end layer, okay, we put the end layer. So, this we call as the three part lah for structure, okay. Compared to index card, we don't have any layer, just follow the pattern, okay. But in uh, from uh, the third method, we have to uh, develop lah, okay, three layer, okay, three part structure lah, okay. The first one is beginning, middle, and and end okay and end okay okay so you can look this uh, top bun and filling and bottom bun okay okay now we go for the okay this uh the last topic okay it's called the last topic uh drafting okay drafting idea okay it's uh, quite famous lah. it's uh, quite uh Good to, to know lah. Okay, okay. One of the occupational disease, okay, of of uh, writers is uh, what we call is to putting off, to putting off uh, uh, the dreaded moment. Okay, of actually is a starting uh, to write. Okay, starting to write is is a quite natural lah. If you write for the first time, okay, 
but it's become the problem if you uh, feel difficulties, okay, to write a, uh, to write an, an article, okay, to write an article, because, okay, normally for journal, we have about, uh, uh, maybe uh, for journal, 800, sorry, 8,000 to 10,000 words, okay, for journals. So you have uh, many pages, maybe around uh, 18 to 20 pages, okay. So you have, okay, this we call as the mindset lah. Okay, for this uh, last topic, we call as the mindset, okay. Number one is uh, only a first draft, okay. This first draft, okay. Writing is uh, what we call as the heart lah, okay. It's the heart if you thinking. Oh, now I'm writing my piece. Okay, now now I'm I'm writing my 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 piece as uh as you can uh read uh this sample. Okay, but it's a lot easier lah if you think I'm writing the first draft, not the whole draft. It's just uh just a psychology. Okay. I'm just writing one paragraph. I'm just writing one sentence. So this is uh, what we call the psychology. You just read, uh, you just write uh, gradually. Okay, read for sentence. Maybe some of you, some of students can can write sentence for one page every day. Okay, every day one page. Okay, so depend on on you lah. If 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 you set your your, your mind, uh, you want to write uh, two drafts, okay, for weeks, okay, for four months, maybe uh, I'm not sure lah, if that okay for you, it's, uh, you, you don't have to think uh, about the problem lah, but maybe some of you, okay, because right, writing a scientific uh, journal or article is uh, what we call as the Difficult, what is called as the if I say difficult is uh, actually it's not difficult. If I say it's tough, it's also it's not tough. It depends on your soft skill, I think. Uh, soft skill. If you're able to write uh, the articles by using uh, based on the single idea, okay, it's good lah, that you. F the soft the soft skill of writing. Some some of you uh, have to put their effort. Some of them are gifted when about the uh, to write lah to write the, the thesis to write the journal to write the proceeding. Okay, depend. Okay, so this uh the first one is uh, only a first draft. So you you just think the smallest thing. You just think about the smallest one lah first. Okay. Okay, second one is a GOS uh, factor. Okay, anybody know what is GOS factor? Okay, G GOS factor means uh, what we call as the great, great opening sentence. Okay, means that one that will grip, grip the reader. Okay, uh, what we call grip the reader uh, from the very, very first moment lah. Okay, how 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 you grip the reader from the very uh, first uh, moment? Okay, this uh, this thing uh, as I mentioned lah, some some uh, student or researcher uh, uh, feel difficult to start. Okay, to start with with the great opening sentence. Okay. Because you have to think about the expectation, okay, and sometimes feel stress and pressure, um, uh, so give you the block lah, writer's block lah, okay. So uh, just uh, uh, for mindset is a uh, okay for GOS is a. Uh, it's a great opening sentence. 
maybe you can uh, refer refer to the other article okay refer to the other article okay that is a good one lah okay normally the good article you can search for impact factor journal or scopus journal okay okay how uh, the researcher or the author read uh, the first sentence okay from from that you can uh, get the benchmark lah okay okay because uh, it's about your writing experience okay writing experience some of you can publish uh, your paper in impact factor some of you get rejected when you try to send your paper to uh, uh, impact factor journal and others lah okay so you have to refer to uh, to the other expert author lah okay expert author okay then the uh, okay when you leak this this will be called the GOS factor so this is one of the GOS factor lah okay the Mercury dictionary defines discovery as discover okay so this uh based on the like the uh, the definition lah okay definition okay the third one is about style okay style style we have two lah okay the first one is uh, what we call as the choice of word okay choice of word okay style uh, normally we this be we we define as a uh, 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 about about the loose sort of concept okay loose loose sort of of of, of concept about about how something is written okay how something is written rather than uh, what is written okay so how something is written rather than what is written so how so based on your based on a style lah. okay based on the style so you have to choose the best style lah. okay based on your idea okay it all depends lah what the piece of of writing lah is for the purpose of writing so you have to de determine lah what is the uh, what is the the purpose of writing okay so writing for me is is like uh, clothes okay it's like clothes okay so it's it's uh it's all about uh, making choice okay choice of your uh what you call it as the style lah. okay it's a style so you have to to uh, determine lah, okay, what style is uh, uh, good for you. Okay, basically English. Okay, English uh, is a well supplied with uh, synonym. Okay, different works that mean the same things. Okay, as, as you can read in this, this slide, quite heap and uh, numerous. Okay, the average kitchen contain quite heaps of cockroaches and numerous cockroaches so actually this is uh, same uh, meaning but uh, as I can see like you as I can say like so you have to choose lah, the different one for the different purpose okay English okay different word that mean the same thing okay uh, another one is uh, what we call as the uh sentence structure okay sentence structure or syntax okay what do you know about the syntax okay syntax syntax uh, means uh what we call as the uh the way you put your words uh together okay to make sentence that we call it syntax lah. okay I mean the way you put uh, the words together uh, to make sentence okay sentence structure or syntax Okay. Uh, the simplest kind of sentence, the simplest kind, uh, this are, I, I talk about English lah. The simplest kind of sentence uh, as the gram, grammatical subject, as a verb, and also as an object. Okay, as an object. So as you can see, uh, this, uh, the sample of style lah. Okay, sentence, structure, or syntax. Okay, my my house is full of bugs which I hate. So 
make sure you have a uh, three three this lah this this kind of factor lah okay now gram grammatical verb and object okay uh um I think uh finish I think I finish okay okay so uh thank you very much for listening okay hope you enjoy uh, my presentation. Thank you very much, Dr. Zul Atif, for your presentation today. That's really inspiring presentation for us. I believe every participant has a new insight about how to find their idea and develop their idea become a research. Well, uh, I think we will start the discussion session. We have 30 minutes for this session. The audience could either directly ask by activating the raise hand icon or typing in the chat box that has been uh, shared by the committee. Then I will read it. Is there any question from audience? I mean, is there anyone wish to directly ask uh, Dr. Zul Atfi? Maybe uh, I will read the question from the chat box because we have a question. Oh, sorry. There is a uh, data to, to people who raise hand. Please, uh, when please, Mr. Vidya Wasta from Mechanical Engineering. Thank you for the opportunity, uh, Mr. Dr. Sul Atfi Ismail. Uh, besides that, uh, you uh, described uh, uh, before. Uh, I also uh, worry about the, what is that the plagiarism because it's it's sometimes it makes me worry a lot. So is is it also how to 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 overcome it uh, so I can uh, continue to develop or to finding the idea? Thank you. Okay, thank you, uh, thank you for the questions. Okay, it's about the novelty. Novelty means uh, your sentence must not be similar to the previous author. That we call as the novelty. So make sure your sentence is not same. You you have to change. Maybe you have to change the sub, the verb or your, your um, subject or object. Okay, just to make sure to avoid the plagiarisms you have to make your sentence is novelty not same to the previous author of the journal or any article okay thank you okay. and the second question uh, from mr fabian Please, you can speak up. Okay, thank you. Uh, so I want to ask you about how to... Yeah, Mr. Fabrian, are you still with us? Well, maybe uh, I... I will take over Mr. Fabrian. Uh, we have a question from the chat box. Dr. Zul Atfi, I will read the question for you. Yeah, from uh, Priyo, Mr. Priyo Adiram Ramadani. What to do if the idea that appears is difficult to implement, Dr. Zul Atfi? Difficult to implement means that difficult to write. 
yeah difficult to write or difficult uh, to make our idea become a real okay it depend on you if you have more duration more uh, time duration lah because if you uh, feel difficult so it waste time maybe if you like that idea the duration will become short but if you don't like that idea the time is, is quite long lah so you have maybe you can write one paragraph one for one day or one paragraph for one week because you don't like that idea but you have to implement it okay that we call as the first the ideas lah so my recommendation either either you have to uh, back up lah you have the second backup for your idea you want to write the journal so you want you have the second backup for your idea if your first idea cannot fail to implement you can use the second one lah the second one must be you like lah you must be interested with that idea okay thank you yeah thank you very much uh, for the answer is there any question from others Okay, then I will uh, read the question from the chat box. Yeah, there is there is no question uh, from the chat box. I think uh, Mr. Fabrian has already with us again. So okay. perhaps, yeah, perhaps uh, Mr. Fabrian would like to ask again about the question. What's your question? Are you still with us, okay. Mr. Fabrian? Yes. Yes, please. Uh, you can speak up. Uh, my question is about how to get rid of the writer's block. And pardon me, my question, uh, my question is going bad. Thank you. Sorry, can, can you repeat again? I'm not, not clear. Can you repeat that question again? I think Hello? the question is about how to overcome the writer's block. Overcome the writer's block. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's about your idea. Lah. Okay. Normally, some students want to think uh, the popular idea. Okay. The popular idea. But sometimes, the what you call as the... Uh, unpopular idea lah it's a good one okay it's, it's a good one okay because or uh, because you put the pressure on that idea okay you you, you get the right stock lah okay but if you enjoy your idea let's say you have uh, some experience about uh, what we call as the painting painting work chat okay chat so you want to uh, uh, put uh, that idea in article okay about the uh, how to improve uh, the painting uh, works by using uh, building information modeling technology and you love that idea so you will not become uh, the writer's block lah because you love you like that idea much too much okay the writer's block is bizarre if you don't like that idea first and if you think the idea is masterpiece okay karya agung lah is something that uh, makes you feel stress pressure okay and uh, another one can maybe can get the right block is uh, you have to because you you have to uh, follow the due date or maybe some of you uh, have to uh, submit the journal within the certain duration so that also make you become writer's block lah Okay, so my suggestion is, uh, you 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 have okay. Before that, eh, how you know that your idea is good? Nobody know that your idea is good. But when you try to submit to the journal, and uh, that uh, uh, editor accept your journal, so this idea is very good because it's uh, this idea based on your re reading, based on your 
experience so you you cannot judge your idea is good first you just start to write the sentence uh, for for your idea lah okay unless your supervisors uh, tell you that your idea is not good okay because they they are familiar with the idea or something so you have to change that idea lah but i think uh to judge or to identify your your idea is good or not i think no nobody can judge it lah unless you lah okay unless you okay sometimes when you read the impact factor journal the idea is a conventional is a comment but how you what we call as the lament how you write your sentence with the that three factor entertain with uh engage the reader and also with the story and the, with, with descriptive so the and the editor accept it because your writing is good with the idea with with the uh not too sophisticated idea you can write uh, uh the article efficiently of fluently lah okay okay thank you thank you very much for the answer dr zul atfi uh, is there any question from other participant as nobody seems to be ready to ask question now uh, maybe i'll ask uh, i'll ask about how do we know if uh, our, our idea is new or not because sometimes we doubt our idea uh, is not a new one. Okay, new. It's a, okay, the simple way to know that your idea is new or, or not based on the quanti quantity of the publication. Mm -hmm. Let's say you, 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 uh, you search for the thermal comfort optimization and you go to the sign direct or web or sign or scopus or Google Scholar to find the total article. Then you get only uh, 20 articles that related to the thermal comfort optimization. Okay, then another thing you uh, search is a uh, beam uh, technology, uh, building information te technology optimization. And you search, you get uh, around 100. So, the 20 is a uh, new, the new one lah. Okay, the uh, 200 is the old one, but it can be uh, the second thing lah. Second thing is second factor lah. Okay, second factor, uh, maybe uh, the total is 20 is because uh, that idea is uh, not suitable, okay? To be uh, uh, what we call it, to be uh, to uh, for your to be uh, uh, chosen or choosing okay to be choose for your research because less article published for that idea okay and maybe for two hundred is a uh, because of the uh, what we call uh, that idea is good and also. Uh, some or uh, many authors want to focus to that idea. So that can be the different thing. Okay, but if you want to look for the new and uh, we call it the, the old one, based on the quantity lah, you can, uh, the, uh, the method is by using the SLR. Maybe some of you know about, about it. Systematic Literature Review. Okay, you, you have to find the quantity lah. Thank you. Yeah, uh, thank you very much for the answer. Uh, is there any question from another participants? If there is no question, I think uh, we will end this session because the time is running out. Thank you very much for your talk, Dr. Zul Atfi. Okay, your talk, yeah, your talk bring, bring us new insight about finding research idea. Before ending this session, I'd like to conclude the task, the talk, and discussion today. Of oh, first, 
getting idea is not only for a big idea, but also a simple one. By making a list, making cluster diagram, and browsing some references, and take of rewriting. And then choosing the idea using three ways of styles, uh, consists of inter entertain, story, and descriptive. And the essential thing of cho choosing the idea is making our idea become reliable and understandable to others. That's the essential thing. And this latest one is drafting our idea uh, to a paper, become a paper. From the discussion, uh, I also conclude some idea. First, uh, we have to use second idea to back up the first idea if our first idea is uh, not reliable and bring novelty in our writing process. Then we have to overcome the writer block by do not judging our idea. And the latest one is we have to browse uh, our idea in the journal web like Science Direct to, uh, to know if our idea is new or, uh, or not. Well, stop thinking if the idea is good or not and then write down your idea and make the idea come true. Okay, I think on behalf of everyone, I'd like to thank you, thank to our uh, presenter today for they their very for yeah for your very interesting presentations and it must stimulate uh, our idea i hope we can get benefit and wider knowledge from dr zuafi that has been said today and thanks for having me as a moderator now I give my virtual microphone to Mrs. Devi as an MC. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Zul Atfi Ismail, for the great lecturing today, and thank you, Miss Norwati, for conducting this amazing session. So I would. Uh, I would like to invite everyone to give applause to our inspiring speaker and amazing moderator by using the Zoom action feature for today's empowering session. Thank you, everyone. I think uh, Dr. Zul Atfi, uh, you may close your uh, share screen. Uh, uh, where? Oh. Uh, at the top. Uh, stop, uh, stop, stop share. This way we have stop share. Stop share. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. 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 Thank you very much for today's session. Now, um, as a token of appreciation, I would like to present a certificate for our honorable speaker and moderator. So this is the certificate for Dr. Zul Atfi Ismail as our gratitude for today's session. Thank you very much, Lisa, for your availability today in providing the inspiring lecture session on finding a research idea. Thank you for very much. And then the next certificate will be presented for Ms. Norwati for being our moderator today. Uh, thank you, Ms. Norwati, for your availability today and delivering an amazing session. Yeah, you're very welcome. So before we uh, end today's session, I would like to... Uh, inform you about our next session it will be on 7 october 2021 uh, about literature review letters tools and methods by mr ahmad yarahmadi from tarbiat Mod modares university and then uh, i think uh, 
to improve this is like uh, the effort from ITS uh, we have uh, academic uh, writing center they do have a lot of workshop in improving your academic writing skill this is very important especially for uh, new uh, master and doctoral student and then uh, they do have lots of drop-in workshop and the latest uh, the next one will be on 28 september 2021 it will be about how to write a good abstract which will be delivered by mr red school a virtual english language fellow of its now uh, before we close this um, session i would like to invite everyone to open their camera to have a session of group photo i think it's oh my god this is like eight slides so you have to smile for eight minutes no i'm kidding so so you have to be very um patient because we have x slide so okay everyone op please open your camera okay i will make a countdown one, two, three for the first slide. Okay, next one, second slide. One, two, three, smile. Next one, third slide. Okay. One, two, three, smile. Thank you. Four, okay. One, two, three, smile. Next one, number five, second, okay. One, two, three, smile. Number six, one, two, three, smile. Now, number seven, okay, please uh, bear with me, guys. One, two, three, smile. Another one. Okay, this is the last one. Just wait for a second. One, two, three, smile. Okay, thank you very much. Now, okay, uh, now that we have finished the group photo, I would like to remind you all the participant to fill the feedback form provided in the Zoom chat. Uh, the participant who will get the stamp for it is the participant who comes on time uh, during this event until the end and also fill the feedback form. Okay, so finally, we have reached the end of today's session and we sincerely apologize for any convenient inconvenience during the session from me as the master of ceremony and all the committees i would like to express our sincere gratitude to speaker moderator and all participant for attention and cooperation uh, once again thank you everyone for joining this session uh, good evening stay safe and healthy see you again on the upcoming session thank you bye bye Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mrs. You. Dewi. I will I will leave the Zoom. Thank you, Ibu Nurwati. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Ibu Nurwati. Yeah, yeah, Puyasinta. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.